Okay, so here we go with an overview of the EFT Tapping 101 intro booklet that I put together for people to get started without bogging them down. You know, just kind of like the best little cheat sheets. So, of course, we have the tapping the shortcut and the full round with all the directions and the tapping points. And this sheet, sorry, came out crooked, but I'm just doing the best I can right now. Um, but you want to have some kind of chart to write the date, the problem, or the emotion, or the issue you're tapping on, and the measurement of how bad it feels before, during, and after. So your suds rating 1 to 10, how bad, and then tap, and then re-measure, retake the suds. So you can see if the problem it's getting less a charge to it, less intense, or just less upset altogether. So you want to get down to a three or less for most things, two or less. Maybe you'll get down to one or zero on some things. This I've had uh, for years, just the EFT procedure with the little icons um, for visual, you know, learning um, and the sequence and the steps. I'm not sure where I got this, but I kind of think it's from the basic uh, emofree.com, Gary Craig's EFT free um, book. That looks like his little pictures. Anyway, this one I found from tapintoheaven.com. It's kind of a little bit different on the statements, but I like it. It's just simple. And easy and it's called 10 steps to personal peace and I really like how she um, says her statements a little differently so it's something a little different you can use you can try it out with another little diagram unfortunately the color didn't really come out on this but this is the main meridian channel so you see we're tapping on the endpoints like around the eye um, All the points have a meridian pathway or channel or flow to it. And when we're tapping on the points, we're tapping on the endpoints. The one under the nose and under the chin are a little bit um, different, but the rest are organ channels. So each one, uh, like the stomach meridian, the liver meridian, kidney, etc. So this is from the Association for Mer Meridian and Energy Therapies. And it's a nice uh, graphic if you don't know anything about acupuncture. And this one I really like because for each of the acupuncture points, it talks about not only the organ, like the eyebrows, the bladder, but the emotional uh, component, good and bad, for each one. That one, um, can't read anything. Gary, Gary Peterson, MD, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. So the Chinese Meridian Acupoints and the Associated Emotions. That's a nice chart. Same with this one. Here's a really extensive list on each Meridian, um, the treatment points and all the emotional issues for each one. It's really a good one. I got that from the Energy Psychology Interactive. That's from Donna Eden. And then we have Donna Eden's Daily Energy Routine, which is, you know, takes five minutes to do it every day and it's to get your energy up, feel more your vitality and energy. It's a really good practice. People have been doing it for many years um, just kind of get to know these basic energy movements and then this is a little basic explanation of EFT and uh, thought field therapy that I've had since 2002 this is one of the first little explanations um, that I found and kept and still have it um, just a nice little explanation of in the history of how it started um, used to be called thought field therapy and then 
uh, someone learned that and created the emotional freedom techniques. And that's what tapping is. It's become, you know, EFT tapping has become the most widely used tapping uh, technique. So that's your cheat sheets. You can uh, print them out and keep them so that you can have everything you need to start tapping. All right, I'll see you on the next video.